If you want to display your FPS or ping on screen in Counter-Strike 2 like you can do with pretty much any other game out there, most players know that you would either have to use a command to toggle on this really ugly looking string of text right below the map that's only for the FPS, and ping wise you basically could only use the scoreboard. After yesterday's update though that honestly didn't have too much to it, one of the things it did add was this telemetry section into the game settings, and that's where you can now toggle on this new net graph that is infinitely better looking than anything we've had before. But how does it work and what does each of the features mean? If you open up Counter Strike or tab back into it and then come up here to the game settings, clicking this and then going to the game tab right here will bring up all of this info. But up at the subcategories up here, you'll notice there's a new box called telemetry right here. Clicking this, it's going to bring us all the way down to the bottom where you now have these new five options. And this is where you now do everything instead of using commands and whatnot. If you wanna show specifically your FPS, for example, this very top setting right here, you can toggle this to either if conditions are poor, meaning it would only show up if your FPS is dipping, or just have it always on, like I have mine always on right now. And then two settings below that, that's where you can show your ping. Again, I have mine on always on. You can do if conditions are poor too, but in my opinion, that's not as helpful. That's exactly how you now toggle on both these things. And if you do, they'll show up in the top right hand corner above your kill feed. But before I get into the rest of everything this little section here does, I need to pay for food, so let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with Counter-Strike skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better, this would be the perfect site to do that with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site. Get started with a free $5 using my link in the description below. I know this is a short, simple video and like I shouldn't put an ad in it, but I gotta pay for food somehow, guys. Like, come on. Anyways, though, besides the show FPS and show ping settings here, you also have frame time warning threshold, show packet loss slash misdelivery, and packet misdelivery warning threshold. Now, first things to note, if you have these on always on, the thresholds aren't really gonna matter because that's specifically for if you've set one of these to if conditions are poor. If I set my FPS to if conditions are poor, it's only gonna show my FPS in that top right-hand corner if it hits this threshold right here. I will say it's kind of nice that they have this if conditions are poor option that you can toggle for any of these because because it just makes it so that this new net graph isn't just always on. Like before in CSGO, if you had your net graph on, you guys know it, it would always be on in the bottom of your screen. But these if conditions are poor basically make it so that your ping, your FPS, your packet loss are only going to show if there's an issue with them or if it's dropping or if it's spiking or something like that. Dropping down to the show packet loss slash misdelivery. This is specifically to show packet loss, obviously, aka telling you when bits of information are lost between transfer of the server and your computer. For me personally, it's rare that I have issues with this one, but I personally, for all three of these, like to keep them on always on, especially if I have the option to, because it's a great indicator of if there is something going wrong with your game, what specifically it might be. So now with everything toggled on now and just hopping into a little practice baggage arms race mode, you'll see in the top right hand corner, right above where the kill fee would be is now where this net graph is showing up. And you could already see it's, it's popping up with a warning for some reason, but you'll see my FPS how fast the game is rendering, my ping in milliseconds, which of course is zero because this is an offline server, and then the packet loss between the up and down arrows. Great, and I am recording and playing at the same time right now, so my FPS isn't great, but if I start moving around here, you can kind of see an example of what this is going to do. It looks like it's actually maxing my FPS at 144 right now, which is kind of interesting, but you can see a great example of what this is going to do and how it works. It's pretty simple. It's not intrusive but it is so much better than anything we've had before. Anyways, if you did make it this far in the video and this helped you out, definitely make sure you guys drop a like and of course subscribe if you're new. And if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, with all that said, now whatever video is showing on your screen, the YouTube algorithm thinks you might like. So do me a favor and go check it out.